Hello guys, Sujara speaking, welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 301, J. Rachel Horn, Here's a Who, by Dr. Seuss. So let's read it now, let's get it, shall we? See so what we got for us. Horn, Here's a Who, by Dr. Seuss, by a bar for one hour. Here we go. Horn, Here's a Who, by Dr. Seuss. So let's do it now. Anyway, still low in the moment. Okay, there we go. It's low in the, Anyway, while I'm reading this book, so here we go. There we go. Come on, load. I mean, Horror Here's Who by Dr. Seuss. We're going to still wait for this to borrow it, and I'm going to read it for you guys. While we wait, um, um, I'm going to go ahead and drink some water and get this ready to go and get over with. Mm. Okay, move on. Okay, okay, there we go. Got it. Um, okay. Horn Here's Who by Dr. Seuss. Let's go. It's published by Ram House, New York. Anyway. For my great friend, I can't pronounce his name. Sorry. Of Koyo, Japan. This is copyright, um, 1934 by Dr. Seuss. Uh, 1954. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All reserved. Copyright 1982. Renewed, something like that. By Dr. Susan. Audrey Geisel. All reserved. But anyway. Anyway, moving on. On the 15th of May, um, in the jungle of New, on the heat of the day, um, in the cool of a pool, he was splashing and enjoying the jungle's great joys. When horns, the elephants heard a small noise. Wow, next page. Anyway. Okay. Um. Do we, do we see the next page? I don't see the next page. Come on. Oh, it's still low. Okay. I see where this is going. Anyway. So Horton stopped splashing. He looked toward the sound. That's funny, thought Horton. There's no one around. Then he heard again. That, that just a little faint yelp as he as if um some tiny person was calling for help. I'll help you, said Horton. Who are you? Where? He looked at him and he looked um he, he see, could see nothing there but a small speak speck something like that. Dust blowing top past toward the through the air. Next page. Oh, it's good enough for this. Speaking of bumblebee difference. Next page. Anyway, I say, Marble Horton. I never heard tell tell um, of a small speck of dust. This is able to yell. So you know, I what I think. Why uh, I think that there must be somewhere on top of. That small speck of dust. Some sort of creature of very small size. Too small to be seen by Elvin's eyes. Is that a ladybug or something? I don't know. We'll see. Next page. Anyway. Some poor little person who's shaking um, for, with fear. Oh, that's a, not a ladybug. Oh, shoot. Stupid bug. Anyway. That's a who. Anyway. Um. That he blew in the pool, and he had no way to steer. Um, I just had to save him. Because after all, a person a person, no matter how small. Mm-hmm, exactly. Next page. Anyway. So gently, and using his greatest of care, the elephant, um, stretched his greatest, great trunk through the air. And left the dust speck and carried it over. And place it down safe um, on a very soft cover. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Next page. Anyway. Hmm. A hump, a hump the voice. Wow, okay. Twice a sour kangaroo. And a young kangaroo on the pouch um, said, hmm, as well. Why the speck is so, as small as the head of a pen. Person of that, why there never been has been. Okay, makes more sense. Anyway. Next page. Anyway. Believe me, said Horton. I'll tell you, sincerely, ser 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 my ears are quite can, and I heard him quite query, okay? I know there's a person down there, and what's more, quite likely there's two, and even three, even four, quite likely a family of all that that we know. A family that with children just starting to grow, grow. so please, Horn said, as a favor for, for me. Um, try not to disturb them. Just please let them be. Wow, it all makes sense now anyway with this flower. Next page, anyway. Wow. Oh God, this elephant. Anyway. Figure of full, laughed the sour kangaroo. I don't know about you, but this is stupid. Anyway, and the young kangaroo in the pouch said, as well as I, you're the biggest blame fool and the juggle of no. Are you that stupid, squalid kangaroo? I don't know. And the kangaroo was plunged in the core of the pool. What terrible splashing, the elephant frowned. Uh, I can let my small persons let get drowned. Are they gonna die for it? I got protection, protect them. I got better w than they. He so he pulled the cover and hustled them away. Mm -hmm. Exactly, one hundred percent. Next page. Anyway, why for the high jungle? Let me turn this thing off. Anyway, um, for the high jungle treetops. Okay. The news quickly spread. He talks to the dust speck. He's out of his head. Just like it hit him, walk for that speck of the flower. Mm hmm. A horn walk, worrying up almost an hour. Okay. Should I put in the speck down? Horn fought it with the arm. If I do, then these small persons may come into great harm. Yeah, exactly. I can't put them down. And I want, after all, a person's, um, a person, no matter how small. Exactly, 100%, even though it's terrifying, I know. Next page, anyway. Um, then I want to stop walking. Um, and Spec voice was talking. The voice was so faint, he could, um, just barely hear it. Speak up, please, said Horton. He could put his ear near it. My friend came to voice. You're a very fine friend. You help us all, folks, in this dust back no end. You save our houses, our ceilings, our and floors. Um, you save us all churches and get grocery stores. Yeah. Well, that makes sense and good enough. So, you know, that's just good enough and make more difference in all this. So, there you go. Next page. Anyway, you mean coin gaps? Um, you have buildings there as well? Oh, yes, popped the voice. We must certainly do. I know it's called the voice. I'm too small to be seen um, by mayor of the town. This is friendly and clean. Um, uh, our buildings to, to, uh, to you were seemed terribly small. Mm -hmm. um, but to us, we are big. They are, are wonderfully tall. My tower is called Whoville. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the Grinch movie, but that's just me. Anyway, for I am the Who, and we Who's are thankful and grateful to you. Yeah, I agree, yeah. And so is the Grinch book, but anyway. Especially the Grinch, 19, um, 19, um, 57, oh, 1966. Special masterpiece. Anyway, and Horn called back to the mayor and on the town. You're safe now. Don't worry, I don't let you down. Next page. Anyway. 
But just then, he, um, but just as he spoke to the mayor of the spack, three big jungle monkeys climbed up the horn's neck. The workers Ben Bobbers came shout, What, what? There's always talking to who's, who are not. Jesus. Um, there aren't any who's. And they don't want have any mayor. Yes, they do. Why? And where are we going to stop all this bull, bull crap? Well, so there. Well, that's just, well, uh, first of all, no. Secondly, monkeys, leave them alone. Jesus. Next page. Anyway. They snatch uh, Horns Clover. I don't care. And I don't know why. You guys are just stupid. Anyway, they're monkeys. Anyway. They carry it off to the Black Bomb Eagle. Named Von Volnikov. Why? Uh, a mighty strong eagle of very stop swift weight. And they said, will you kindly get rid of this thing? No. That'll, that'll kill all the Who's of Whoville. And before the poor elephant even could speak, um, the eagle flew off the way that flower doesn't speak. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that is not going to happen, you know. And I agree with this elephant, but do not do this to this flower, please. Next page. Anyway. All the way afternoon, um, and far into the night, the black bomb bird flap in its wings in its fast flight. A horn chased after with claws over stones that tear his toenails, Jesus, and, and bury his bones. And beg, please don't harm all the bird folks who, um, have a must, um, right to live and as bigger folks do. But far, far behind him, that eagle kept flopping all over shore, called back, quit your yapping. Eagle, shut up. Thank you. Anyway, I'll fly that night through a um, bird. I might mind it. I'll hide this tomorrow where you never find it. Again, eagle, shut up. Thank you. Next page. Anyway. And at 6.56 the next morning, he did it. Screw you. Anyway. Um. He sh it was a terrible place that he did hide it, hid it. He let the small cover drop somewhere inside of a great patch of covers. A hundred miles where, why, find that, stared the bird. Will you screw, sh shop already? But I think you will fail. If he, if he left, and he left. With a flop in the, on the, um, on the black bomb tail. You know, screw the eagle. I don't care what it says. It's just messed me up. Next page. Anyway. I'll find it no matter, quite hard, for and some of that. Um, I'll find our bus. Rock a bus, that is. Um, I'll show off all my friends in the small speck of dust. And cover by cover, and cut by cover and cover. You pick up and stare at them, and call, "Are you there?" Um, but cover, but cover, cover. He found that the one that he sought for and was just not around, and that by noon, poor old Horton, more dead than alive. Jesus, had picked, searched, and piled up nine thousand and five. You know, all of them are just as sad as me. You know, you know, it's all about, it's just this bloody mess, you know? All around with blood, you know? That's just me. Next page. Anyway, then on, uh, on through the afternoon, hour by hour, till he found them at last, thank God, um, on a three million follower. Uh, my friends cried the elephant. Uh, my, tell me, do you do tell? Are you safe? Are, are you sound? Um, are you sound? Are you whole? Are you well? I don't know what to do next with these flowers. Mm. Some of the flowers been eaten up. 
Next page. Anyway. From the Dallas back came the voice of mayor. We were having trouble. Much more than our share. Uh, we, then the Black Bomb Burry let go and we dropped. We ran it so hard that our clocks have been stopped. Wow. Wow. Then our teapots are broken. Our rocket chair is smashed. And our bike slow tires are blew up and we where when we crash. So Warren, please plead that voice in the mayors. Um who will you stick with by us who's while we're making it repairs? Of course Horn answered. Um of course I'll stick I'll stick by you. Um, small folks. True thin through thick. Exactly. One percent. Next page. Anyway. Hmm. Hum the voice. Um. Wow. For almost two days, you run wild in instance. I'm chatting with those people persons who never exist. Shut up, kangaroo. Just carry on up in the peach bowl jungle. Um. We quite we have quite up uh, enough of your boy and bungle. And I'm here to stay. Snap the big kangaroo. First of all, shut up. Secondly, it's boring. Thirdly, you're never going to do some sh crap like this. Anyway, that's your silly nautical game is all but through. Boring. And your young kangaroo is in the pouch said as well as I. Lame. Next page. Anyway. Uh, with all the help of the Witcher Sam brothers and dozens of Witcher Sam's uncles. Is that witches? Stew, witches. I don't know what that's called. Soup thing? I don't know. Does the Witcher Man, Sam, uncle, and cousins, and in laws, with all the outside gauge, we, uh, we're gonna be rope, and you're gonna be caged. And if you're gonna dust back, ha! Uh, thou shalt boil, and your hot steaming kettle, and the best or not, oil. Uh, no. Screw this whole, uh, boil thing. That is boring. I want it all. Hold on. Good night. Good night, buddy. Night. Mom's trying to sleep. I'm trying to tape the episode. Let me finish this. Okay. Anyway. That's what I'm saying earlier, but got got erupted by dad. But anyway, screw this. It's bo. I want this is boring, boring crap. I don't care. Do it, and I don't care anyway. Boring gaps, Horton. Wow, it just makes me want to puke. Anyway, oh that what can't you can't do? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, is that four persons? Yeah, that'll prove it to you. I don't care anymore. This is, yeah, yeah, so much like the book, you know, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, Horn called, Mr. Mayor, you gotta prove now that you really are there, so call Big Me, get one out, make every who whole holler, make every who shout, make every who scream, if you don't, Every who was going to end up in the base or not stew. Now it's like witches stew. You know, like screw this. I'm done with this crap. Next page. Anyway, I uh, down in the dust speck. Um, the scary little mayor quick and um, called Big Mean of Whoville Town Square. Anyway, and there's people cry wildly. They cry out the fear. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here now. It makes sense, so there you go, even though it's who, wahoo, wahoo, about well, Christmas already passed. But anyway, next page. The elephant small, this is clear as a bell. Wow. Uh, your kangaroo surely hear that very well. Mm hmm. All I hear, snap the big kangaroo, was a breeze. And that faint sound of the wind through the barbed distance trees. I heard no more sound, more sound voices, and he did it either. And the young kangaroo in the pouch said, me either. Well, at that time frame, you do. Stupid. You know? Oh, God. Next page. Anyway, grab them. They shouted, um, 
the cage, um, big dope, um, last was his stomach with 10 miles of rope, tied the knots tight, and he never shaked loose. Shut up. Anyway, then dog the dump stack, the beef are not juice. Uh, 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 no way. No way. I can't care anymore. This is boring. Anyway, Poison fought back with the great Viger and Vim, with, but the Wigger Sam gang, um, was too many of him for him. They beat him. Oh, God, no. No, I don't care anymore. This is boring. Let's end this crap, please. Anyway, they maul him, they stare at him, him in the cage. Um, they ha ma managed to call to the mayor. Don't give up. I believe in you all. Person to person, no matter how small, and you sm very small persons will not have it to die. You make yourself heard, so come on now and try. Fake you. Fake you. Anyway. The mayors grab a Tom Tom. He starts to smack it. And all over Whoville, they whoop a, up a racket. Yeah, thank you. They're out tin curls. They bend up brass pans on garage pail tops. And all cranberry cans. They brew the brass tin straight tools. Anyway. On clarinets, on oompas, and blue paws, and foods. Anyway. Next page. Anyway. Great guts allow grasses lands and high through the air. Um, they round and soak the whole sky. And the mayor called up um, through the highway and mud, mad, uh, humble. Hey, Horton, how's this? Is our sound coming through? And Horton called back, I can hear you just fine. But the kangaroo's ears are, aren't so strong. Thank you. Quiet as mine. They don't hear a thing. Are you sure all you boys are, are doing their best? Are they all making noise? Uh, but I'm sure as any who, every who down in Whoville is working. Thank you. Quick, look from your town. If there's anything shrinking, are you going to show the kids' difference? Well, I don't know. Next page. Anyway. With the town rush the mayor for the seas to the west. Free, with everything steam to the, doing their best. Everyone seemed to be yapping and yipping, whatever, or yipping, whatever it was. Everyone seemed to be beeping and bib or bibbing, anyway. But it wasn't enough. All the rock guys and and war, he had to find something to help him make more. He raised for every each building, anyway. He searched for the four, okay? And that makes sense now, anyway. Next page. Um, and as soon as just as he felt, he just kept getting nowhere. And every, almost every, almost about to give up um, in this bear, okay. He saw the burst through the door of the mayor, and that mayor discovered one trigger, okay. I will call every in the way, in the far fat fixed apartment, okay. Apartment 12J, okay. Um, very small, very small shaker named Jojo. Come right to the Jojo Circus to me. Anyway, we're standing, just standing. A bouncing yo yo, not making a sound, but yeah, but a chirp, not a chirp, excuse me, look at it. But in the mayor rush inside and grab a young twerp. Wow. I don't know if no, no, that super could ever heard the word twerp before. Anyway, next page. Anyway, and he climbed the light up in the Everberg Tower, okay? This cried the mayor is the town's darkest hour. The town, this time for all the who's. Who have blood that is red. To come in the aid of their country, mm -hmm. he said, you got to make noises in greater amounts. So open your mouth, m mouth, that for every voice count. But as he spoke in the crime, they got to the, the top, the lad cleared his throat, and he shouted, Yup! Okay, makes sense. Can it be a good thing? Next page. Anyway. Oh, it's a good thing. Thank you. Anyway, and yelp, that small extra yelp put it over. Finally, at last, from the speck of the old cover, their voice were heard. Thank you. Anyway, and they rang up clear and clean. Okay, and yelp, it small. Do you hear? Do you see what I mean? They pulled over the persons 
Not all every small, no the whole world was the same, but as small as a ball. Thank you. Anyway. How true, yes, how true, said the big kangaroo. And from now on, you know what I plan to do? From now on, go and be protect them with you. The young kangaroos in the pouch said, um, uh, next page. Anyway. As well as I. From sun to summer, from rain to uh, when it's fallish, protect them, no matter how smallish. Okay. You need to protect them. Thank you. I, it, I, it don't matter to me. I hope you learn your lessons, kangaroos and birds and everything, you know? So it all makes sense now. And that's the end of our book. So that was, um... Horn Here's a Who by Dr. Seuss. What do I think about this book? It was very catchy to read. So far, this book was a success. That was Bedtime Stories episode number, let's say, um, uh, 301. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one's gonna be Bedtime Stories episode number 302. Um, the fact is I have difficulties with the webcam right now. I'm going to have to do another Bedtime Story via Air Archive in the next one. We'll just see what happens. Till next time, Sue Jones and Bobby Sub Baby. Good morning, Mr. Sue. Timothy out. See ya.